welcome back to Good Day State Line. Fall TV is back in action in more ways than one on Grey's Anatomy and Station 19. And we are, well, we, me, I am so excited to check in with two incredible Shondaland actors, Camille Luddington and Jason George. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, how you feeling? I'm good. I always get a little <laughs> starstruck when I get to talk to people who I've been watching on TV for like ever. And you're right here in my studio. I see your faces. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for watching us. Yes. Right. Every, Thank you for supporting. Definitely. Yeah. You got it. Okay. So first things first, I have to know, I guess, Camilla, you can uh, probably answer this or not. Is this going to be the last season of Grey's Anatomy? I need okay. to prepare. <laughs> You know, it, you know, this is what Jason can attest to this. Okay. <laughs> we get asked this question all the time. I know. We don't know. <laughs> we will probably find out when you guys find out. Jason, right? I feel like this is, we truly do not know. I think about a half hour before. About I think about a half hour before, before you guys know, we'll, we'll get notified. Yeah. By the time I read the email, you guys will have not. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know is the answer. That's fine. That's fair. I actually do prefer when things are a surprise that I know ahead of time, but you know, I had to absolutely ask. Um, we have a question for both of you to answer. You've both been part of so many comedic, dramatic, okay. emotional episodes uh, in your careers with Grey's Anatomy and Station 19. Is there a scene or episode that just will always be your favorite? Jason, why don't you answer this one first? Wow, my favorite that I was in or on the show, period. Because oh. my favorites, I actually wasn't in. I love the shooter episodes of Grey's Anatomy. Me those, too. Those episodes are like... We were on the show. I was, uh, if I rewatch it, I, my, my daughter's watching the show, I rewatch it with her and I'm still I'm still jumping up and freaking out. So, That's fair. shooter episodes of Grey's Anatomy. That's fair. What about the ones that you've actually I been So in? I have... Oh yeah, what's one you've been ones in? that I've been in. You know, ones that I've been in. There's a scene that actually has almost no words on Station 19, where uh, uh, Vic Hughes, played by the wonderful parrot Doss, uh, has lost the love of her life, and she just kind of is flipping out, and she crawls up on top of the fire engine and just lays there, and then the rest of us all kind of quietly walk in, see her, crawl up on top of the fires, and we just end up lying there in a big pile, mm -hmm. uh, taking care of our girl, which to me. No words says everything about the show. You take care of your people. That to me, I love shooting that scene too because it's kind of how we are behind the scenes too. I love that. That's a good one. Um, so, okay, scene I'm not in. The, sh the shooter episode was amazing. Um, but that I was in probably um, the hallway of women. I feel like that that mm. scene with the with the victim of sexual assault yeah. then and that was just such a powerful incredible scene and very emotional um we lined the hallways with people that were in production that women that wanted to just be in that scene and editing and you know everywhere sound our pas um so probably that's the most memorable for me that's that's an excellent answer. I like all of your answers. You know, we've been able to watch, you mentioned that scene in that episode. Joe's character, I mean, you've done everything, literally, um, with her and to watch her grow and stuff. I, I, you're one of my favorites, and I was especially mad, of course, when Alex Karev oh, left. Thanks. Mad at him, mad for you. Um, but shout out yes. to you and to the writers for managing to have Joe's character come out in a really awesome way instead of just, you know, a dramatic, sad way. And now last week's episode, watching you with Luna, yeah. you know, I think a lot of people, I am not a mom, but I'm an aunt and watching you struggle to get out of the car with her. I'm like, oh, that must be what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, no, it, it really is because I still cannot open the stroller that my son is in. Like, <laughs> Jason, don't laugh. I have my husband do it. I actually called him the other day, I go, which button is it so um that's very real um and i love seeing her as a new mom too and i think i think it's an important storyline because the truth is is that people who are in love with other people they get left and it's brutal and hard and 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 they have to come out of it on the other side of it and i think this is what this is the story we're telling Absolutely. Okay, Jason, are you guys going to have any more big crossovers this year? I'm guessing the answer is yes. Can you tell me how many crossovers we're getting? 
Uh, all I got to say is uh, I'll be at Grey's Anatomy this afternoon shooting. Uh, I was there over the weekend, my Sunday, 14 hours on a Sunday shooting. And this next crossover, you're not ready. Not no ready. one is ready, ready for this next crossover. In fact, I said I said that it feels like a like a mid season finale. Ooh. That's how wild it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. And it's not. Well, I am so ready for that. My favorite thing is to sit down on Thursday nights and watch you guys with a glass of red wine and just tell everyone else to go away. <laughs> so thank you guys. Love it. <laughs> so much. Red wine on. That's what's up. Yeah, joining us tonight, of course, uh, Station 19 thank and Grey's Anatomy so. are on our sister station, WTBO, tomorrow night at 7 and 8 p.m. Get your wine, watch with them. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank, take care. Coming up next on GDS, Crown Hour Laws joining us in the studio. And then it's game day with Boylan Catholic High School. We'll be right back.